thoughts in general on your team's performance? Yeah, you know what? Uh, I thought we started the right way, uh, got the lead, which we wanted, and then uh, they scored a power play goal on our penalty kill, and I thought that let the air out of us a little bit. And, uh, you know, a good teaching point for our guys, you know what? Uh, like, the games won't be five, six goal games every game. Every game, You have to make sure you kind of ride with the punches and, uh, and, and get back on the horse again after you do give up a goal. And, uh, you know, I thought we did a good job of resetting in the second period, coming out in the second. And also shooting the puck. Yeah, I thought we got a little too fancy in the first period. You know, they did block shots and get in the way, but I thought we did a better job of having a shooting mindset in the second period. What did you think of uh, Hunter Johannes' uh, first game here? Yeah, no, he's obviously he's very excited to play here. Um, you can tell the way he plays, uh, but he's a tough guy to play against. He, you know, he can skate well. Uh, he forechecks extremely hard, and uh, and he has really good hands, as you saw in the goals he scored, uh, breakaway, wrap around. Um, and he's, he's an impactful guy on the ice all the time. And, uh, and again, he adds to our group. You know, we got a lot of different players. We got some kind of mid-sized skilled guys. We've got some bigger guys that are power forwards and, and you need a little bit of everything in your group. And he, he provides that, that power side of it. And with both, uh, Hunter and Cameron Berg, a couple of guys that grew up as fans of the program, being able to get their first one, just, uh, could you tell that, that those were meaningful for those guys? Yeah, for sure. You know, I know as a, you know, they always talk about being a child and growing up and playing youth hockey and, you know, watching us play here at North Dakota, that's the dream of theirs. And finally they get a chance to do that. And, you know, what better way than the games that count now to, uh, to score those goals. And, uh, and, uh, you know, even Cam Berg tonight, I thought he was shot out of a cannon. Like, he, there was, he had some burst in his game, and he had some jump, and, you know, he had opportunities tonight, and it's nice to see that. Jackson Blake, a couple of highlight reel plays. Just uh, your thoughts on seeing him do it again. I guess you've seen it a lot, but he just Yeah, keeps... he just has that uncanny knack of, you know, having a puck on his tape. And, you know, when he doesn't, it has, a, has an uncanny knack of, you know, stripping a – a player of the puck and getting it back and making a great play and uh, you know there's some chemistry on that line when you see Jake Schmaltz on that line as well with Owen McLaughlin there seems to be a little bit of chemistry there right now and and uh, you know the challenge is now to keep going you know we're playing against Wisconsin tomorrow and again turning the page and, and, and bringing it again tomorrow. What are some things you want to, to clean up before playing Wisconsin? Well, you know what, I, I, when we do have a lead, two or three goal lead, like just playing sound hockey and, you know, we can still score goals, but I, I think it's a situation where we press a little bit. And I think we pressed a little bit in the third period where, you know, we gave them a breakaway, some outnumber chances, different things. I thought Ludwig Pearson, you know, he only had 12 shots on net, six in the third, but he did an outstanding job of making some huge tough saves when we needed them. And uh, and we want to take the pressure off him. Like he'll make those those saves uh, from the outside and you know from from a distance. But we don't want to give up breakaways and outnumbered opportunities. And you know I think that's going to be a good teaching point tomorrow when we get into some video before the game and just talk about how we want to play. Don't want to back off on our offensive explosion as far as what we can do. But we got to make sure we're sound defensively. Are you concerned with the amount of penalties you took tonight? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, they're a big physical team, you know, and at, at the end of the day, uh, you know, that's not an excuse for taking those penalties. But, uh, yeah, we have to do probably a better job. You know, anytime you get past two or three penalties, um, then you're, you're playing with fire. And, uh, you know, the one thing about a penalty kill uh, we noticed, too, when they scored those goals, we, we, we didn't win draws. Like, you know, at the end of the day, if you can win a draw and get a clear, huge deal. And, uh, and again, I think it's a situation where we're more disciplined, right? Uh, but at the end of the day of – Hopefully, winning a couple draws and making them come up the ice through you. It must be nice seeing um, your goalie. I mean, you don't want to see breakaways, but he stopped a couple tonight. Yeah, well, th that's the difference. You know, uh, having a guy that you know when things are going sideways a little bit, or or, or there's a play, there's a miscue, or a uh, situation where the puck's on the opposition tape, uh, making that save at a key time of the game. You know, even though that we had a couple goal lead. You know, who knows? You know, they, they had two, they get that third one. You know, now they have momentum. Now you have to call your time out. You have to get everybody reset and going again here. And, uh, you know, I, I think there were just spurts in the third period where we just kind of got a little bit loose and we just got to tighten up our game a little bit. Wisconsin had to play an overtime game tonight and then they have to travel from Bemidji. How are you going to use it to your benefit being here? Yeah, we're not so much concerned about that because they're a very good team. They put up 60 some shots against Bemidji tonight. So, uh, you know, we know we got a really good team coming in here. You know, they, it wins a win. They got a win there. And uh, tomorrow it's for playing for the Icebreaker Championship. And uh, and we want to make sure that, uh, you know, we, we, we start on time in the first period and uh, we carry out with a 60 minute game. And, and we got a good team coming in here. You know, uh, every time you get North Dakota, Wisconsin,
Wisconsin playing against each other. It comes out, everybody brings their best out, and, uh, and we're going to bring our best out tomorrow.